Well, hello, I'm Abby Aston. This is my dog, Luke. Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be giving our top tips on how to manage her heat, her little sexy dog heat, while we're living in a city. To give some context, we live in central London in a pretty busy part of the city. We're actually next to a really lovely big park. So there's still space for her to run around and everything, but there are lots of dogs about. And just a disclaimer, I am not a dog trainer. I watch my fair share of Zach George and we've had some lessons and things like that, but I'm just muddling. We are just muddling our way through like the rest of us. Nikki's heat is essentially spent three weeks. The first week is where she just wants to be friends with everyone. Um, she says hi to people. She just, yeah, super, super friendly. So when she's bleeding, she's quite tired. Um, just generally jolly pup. Second week is where she turns into a filth lobster. She goes a bit mad. <coughs> she whines at everyone. <coughs> she wants to hump everything she sees. She attracts dogs from everywhere. And as of this time, she apparently humps puppies in the face. Her third week is where she is available, but less interested. And then by the fourth week, you start to let her off the lead, give her a bit more space, and she sort of starts to return to normal. She found a tennis ball. So then, here are our top tips for when Mookie is on heat. Tip one is the ball. We're gonna do it on the lead today. Mookie's ball obsessed. So for the first week, the ball wins, and then for the second week, uh, the ball comes slightly below boys. That's every teenager. But luckily, oh, she is ball mad. So we use the ball in three ways. One is we just throw it, and she runs around us, and then she goes and gets it, trying not to fall over. Not very good dog parenting there. Secondly, we just let her have it, and she has a jolly, <laughs> jolly old time rolling around and wriggling and frolicking. Uh, and thirdly, we um, make her stay, and then we throw the ball, and then we let her go after it. We do this actually most of the time because it's better for their joints and stuff as well. Just having a really good long line, really extendable lead. Um, after the first week, she basically stays on the long lead all the time because she will just run off really out of nowhere. Um, I'm not usually a fan of them because they get tangled up and everything, but if you find a good one, it's really cool. Also, you can let her have some freedom and frolic a bit and then reel her in like a trout. Another cheeky tip is to go out walking on a really shit weathered day because look, there's no one in the park except the duck. There's no one here, which is amazing. Another tip is that we take her for, especially on the first week she's on heat, for girl dog day dates. Dog day dates? Day dog dates? Um, just so she can get some socialising. We found with Mookie, if you don't socialise her, it's like she forgets and becomes the Grinch. Yeah. So we want to make sure that she still socialised while she is on heat as much as possible and for as long as possible. But then she turns into a horny snake. Another tip is a kind of weird one. So a city you think of being as a really busy place, but actually often in a lot of places not dog busy. So I take Mookie, on the first week anyway, we take her into central London quite a bit because she sees very, very few dogs. Um, and then she gets to go out and get socialised and have a bit of an adventure. Next thing we do is generally we avoid big dog groups. So you can see here, big group of dogs. So we will go this way. And that's basically it. And then it's just weathering the storm for three weeks. I really feel that Mookie should be able to do everything that she wants to do. Um, everything she wants to do. No, everything that she usually does. She wants to do a lot of things. <laughs> Mookie, this way, come on. And she should be allowed out in the park and everything, as long as we've got her under control. Not everyone agrees, and we've had some run-ins. Um, the feminist in me comes, really comes out when people say that she shouldn't be inhabiting their space. However, I think that's a video for another day. So hopefully you've enjoyed some of these tips and yeah, helps you in the future. You okay? A little bit hormonal? <laughs>